In the previous episode of Hermitcraft, I built this rather glorious looking building. I was I was super happy with it. I still am super happy with it. I think it's a wicked addition to the base. And actually, I would say it finishes up the city area around my base, which is something that I've been meaning to do for ages. I couldn't really think of anything to put here. And to be honest with you, now that it is built, okay, as you saw at the end of the Hermitcraft episode, I did have some plans for what I actually wanted to construct here. But I ended up not liking them, so we ended up with this mad-looking empty building. <laughs> That's even, I totally forgot that I had a dragon head on. That really threw me off then. Um, but yeah, I, I, I asked you to kind of suggest some ideas for what I could build in here. Lots of them were ridiculous, okay? Lots of them were daft, stupid, you know, it's, it is what it is. But there were a few good ones. And the one that I liked the most is actually an idea, I think, from Hermitcraft Season 5. At least at the very start of Hermitcraft Season 5. But I also had one in Hermitcraft Season 4. It's a spoon counter. I mean... It might be a little bit late in the season to start counting spoon moments, but it definitely feels like it's worth doing. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not actually entirely sure how I'm going to do it just yet. There's there's kind of a number of different directions that I can go in. I can have seven segment displays. Uh, that might not be a bad move. Or alternatively, I could have some kind of redstone lamp counter that kind of travels along. That could be a good way to do things. Or... Like an hourglass. I don't know. I can get crazy. I do quite like the idea of counting my spoon moments with something obscure like chickens falling into a chamber. But that could end up being quite a lot of entities. Because we all know that I suffer from a lot of spoon moments. We'd end up with like 300 chickens in my base. Then Exuma Void would start complaining to me that I'm lagging the server and all that. So, I would say redstone lamps seems like the best way to go. That seems like the best option. But I don't just want to do it in a line. Uh, I feel like we can do something a little bit more interesting there. Maybe it just kind of snaking round like this. I mean, how many spoon moments do I think we're going to have? Uh, oh, we could have it snaking around the entire building. I think Exumavoid might be the one that trapped my base with the puffer fish in my water stream. Look at this. Uh, I offer him some kelp and this is how he repays me. Unbelievable. Anyway, I've come up with a really good idea of how I'm going to do the spoon counter. So let's start work on that one. I'm not sure when this was constructed. I, I really don't know, but it definitely feels sinister. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get my logs myself. To be honest, I kind of forgot that I actually had this farm right here. They're getting loads and loads of logs. Really isn't a big deal. I can get tons upon tons of the stuff incredibly quickly. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not sure what to do. I mean, technically you can't do anything to me right now because there's no PVP, but he's definitely dead and he's definitely holding TNT. I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm super nervous to do anything. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we might be safe, maybe. Honestly, it's difficult to tell, to be honest with you. Now, the reason I needed all of those logs is because I need tons upon tons of hoppers to make this work. I also need a bunch of comparators, but I am running incredibly... incredibly low. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't get away from this dude. I've done two consecutive oh goshes in the chat, which in my terms means that we're basically at Hermitcraft Deathcon 4 and at 5. I don't know. I don't know how Deathcons work, to be honest. This is bad news. We've got a third oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No. No. Well, I've managed to collect all the stuff from the industrial district. So I've got some quartz. I've got a bunch of sticks for the comparators and things. We just need some smooth stone. And that should do us for the time being. Boom, boom. Now here is, here is my idea for it. Okay, so here we have a bunch of item counters, or I guess a bunch of hoppers right now, but eventually they will be item counters. And the idea is, is that they are all kind of mainly filled apart from one gap. And we are going to throw spoons into the system and it is going to count the number of spoons that we've got. So there's going to be lines of redstone lamps like this going right the way up to the ceiling. And we are going to go from the top down to the bottom. Now, if I manage to make it down to the bottom by the end of Hermitcraft Season 6, uh, that, that will be embarrassing because that will likely be around about 70 spoon moments. Which makes me wonder, how many spoon moments do you reckon I average per episode? Because if it's 10 per episode, then I'm actually in a lot of trouble. Now, redstone-wise, this is an incredibly simple and repeating design. The only thing that I do have to work out, which I actually haven't thought of just yet is how I'm going to transport the items. I guess we can just do that in kind of like a, a cool way 
sending the items up maybe from over there i mean we've got so much space to play with we might as well use it we have to be very wary here uh, all right it looks like cup was just trying to catch me with just an opportune he's still online I hope he's not doing anything. Weirdly, it seems like he hasn't left any lasting traps or none that I can see right now. So it looks like we live to live another day. Anyway, we've got plenty of glass here. I've just listened back to that clip. I'm fairly certain that's not the saying, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, any help down in the comment section would really be great. The water streams are looking awesome, by the way. Uh, I've, got, I've got the little framework that is going to take the items across like this. So our spoon input is going to be somewhere over there and then they're going to travel across like this they're going to go along here and now i've got all of the water streams in place now you can see that i've left open edges here because these items have to be able to bypass these hoppers and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use what is it is it a sea pickle i think it's a sea pickle on that corner there that will then align the items with the edge so that they're kind of they're going over the top of these blocks but also going over the top of the hoppers so they should be able to filter in nicely now i have absolutely no idea where one would acquire a sea pickle other than potentially green's base because when in doubt just go to green's base if you need something really obscure there is a high likelihood that he has stored it somewhere in his ridiculously stupid storage system see See, I told you he has he has a, he has a large number of sea pickles. <laughs> I've built everything up and this isn't working. I think I need more sea pickles here. Do sea pickles grow or do I have to place more sea pickles or do I bone mill sea pickles? I've never really played with sea pickles before. But yeah, they're, they're kind of, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not going between the two blocks and they're just going right the way to the bottom. It's a bit rubbish. Yeah, after a little bit of research, we need a triple pickle. All right, so we'll get that sorted. For some reason, that sounded really Cockney English then. I went, I went full London. Anyway, we need to, I'm going to fill up all of these hoppers and because I am super rich with iron, I'm going to be using iron blocks just because I can. Not even just regular iron ingots. Okay, we're going full iron block. How much is that? I'm using 36 pieces of iron for every single hopper. This seems, even this seems like a bit of a waste to be fair but my iron farm produces so much that i can get away with it so with that all done all there is now is to provide all of the spoons for the system so once again we are going to be using iron for this i think that's the best way to do it so we'll have loads and loads of iron spoons uh, and i guess we just need a ton of sticks which we can get from all the wood that i managed to gather up earlier which by the way was incredibly satisfying i did that for far longer than necessary just because it's so much fun right let's give this a whirl then so we are going to do a trial spoon this will be the first the first count on the spoon counter. Off it goes. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is quite nice watching the spoon <laughs> travel up. Maybe, maybe we should put some soul sand. I thought, I thought it would be good to be able to watch the moment travel upwards. I know that sounds silly, but I thought that would be cool. But it is, <laughs> it's so much slower than I thought it was. I forget how slow water streams are if you don't have the soul sand. All right. <laughs> We're nearly there. Okay, there we go. It's whizzed off. Oh, no. <clears throat> I've messed up my maths a little bit. Hmm. For today, I give up. All right, I I, I give up. All right, I, I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Hopefully, with a fresher mind, I'm gonna be ready to go. Just so you know, I think that might be the closest I've come to a rage quit in a Hermitcraft episode. And I know that was a very British rage quit. Okay, we don't shout, we don't scream. We just kind of well, we go to bed and and moan a little bit. I don't know why it just bothered me. I spent a long time yesterday, probably around about four, five, maybe even six hours, getting to that point. And for some reason, that just tipped me over the edge. The fact that it didn't work. But now I've come back the next morning, and I have built it. So now it actually functions and looks really pretty. So I've added in all of the quartz stairs. I've added in a bit of a border. The way that I've made it work is I've extended out the redstone system. So now the redstone runs on top of this block right here. So it only powers the single redstone lamp. You can see there is our tester up at the top there. And I gotta say, I am a big fan of this thing. It looks really, really fancy and also fits in quite nicely with the room. The only issue is, is that right now our spoons aren't actually going to make it into the system. 
So we're going to have to kind of reroute this water stream, but that's no big deal. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't really like the entire front water system, the input thing, so I think we can totally change that. I reckon we do another quite cool build over here, which will then send the spoons up across like this and then across like that into the spoon counter. So on this side, we'll have the input. On that side, we will actually have the counter itself. And then round here, maybe we can have some decoration. I don't know, I'll try, I'll try my best to think of something. Cool, I am fired up. I'm excited for this now, whereas before, I was stressed. <laughs> I tried to build an inverted spoon. Um... <laughs> I, I can't put that in a video. <laughs> I came up with another thing where it goes right the way up to the ceiling using this sort of method. It's so difficult to build cool looking stuff in this awesome looking building because there's so much going on with the building you kind of need it to fit in with what's happening here. After lots of various different trials I've ended up with this setup. It's not that dramatic. I must say, I'm playing it quite safe with this because I went for some really dramatic things and they look dramatically awful. So at least, at least this is safe, but it's safely nice. Um, and then, as you can see, I've started also adding in the glass around the back. I decided to swap over from clear glass because clear glass seems to actually be quite contrasty, whereas white stained glass, you can barely even tell that it's there. <laughs> to be honest with you, you can barely even see it. The only slight downside is, is, of course, we are going to be adding water and ice eventually, which might ruin that effect a tiny bit. It's also been a bit of a nightmare to actually get all of the blocks in place because this is kind of within like a one high area, but you keep having to go through these beams and I really need to start carrying trapdoors with me so I can go into crawl mode easily because I'm having to do perfectly timed jumps in this gap, try and move forwards and then get underneath. It's so difficult to do. But thankfully I've managed to pull it off enough times to actually get this thing fully constructed. I think, yep, yeah, there's meant to be a gap there. That's filling the block. That's filling the block and that is everything. So this thing is now all completed, and I have to say, it doesn't look as bad as I was expecting. Those those ice blocks are a little bit disappointing, but there's not much I can do about them. This looks a million times better than it did yesterday. So now I have to spend all of my levels renaming all of these iron shovels to Spoon. I get oh my god! I mean, what? <laughs> to be fair, how long has that anvil been in my base? Probably... Probably a long time. That scared the pants off me. I don't know why I complain so much. It's not like we're limited by the amount of iron that we have, but still. I was thinking about this the other day, though. I cannot imagine playing Minecraft without some form of large supply of iron. Like, I'm so used to playing with iron farms, or at least someone who's made an iron farm, so I have access to iron. I can't imagine having to actually go out, gather up iron ore, then smelt it and everything. It just... That would be a horrendous experience. Imagine if I wanted to build like a large scale storage system. It would take me about 15 hours just to get the iron alone for all the hoppers. Oh my goodness, I've broken another anvil. I've broken another anvil. That, how much? That's a lot of iron to have spent. Yeah, that's 31 pieces of iron just disappeared already. See, this is why iron farms, I can't imagine not having them. Now I am going to do another spoon counter test right now. Ah, oh, this is so much faster than it was before. It's also really satisfying. <laughs> All right, so from this point forth, every single time we have a spoon moment in one of these episodes, which for those of you who are new to my series, a spoon moment is if I do anything even from slightly silly to seriously silly, that would be considered a, a spoon moment. I'll have to come over here, I'll have to chuck a spoon into the system, and I say if we reach all the way down to the bottom there, I mean, I, I, I don't know what I'll do, because that is 40 spoon moments I would need to have had. 40. I wonder how many I average per episode. Imagine if it's 40. <laughs> Imagine if I've built a spoon counter that is only good for one episode. That would be an absolute nightmare. Anyway, we're now going to briefly leave the base behind and we're going to head out somewhere that I haven't been to for a very long time. <laughs> That's a sneaky trap! That is a sneaky trap! So I was running because I totally forgot that I could pick up boats, okay? But look at this. Look at this setup right here. So a person goes over the trap door. Oh, it would lock them in place and then they'd be stuck on the lava. I'm so lucky that I'm a moron and forgot that there was boats because I actually could have died. Now I must say this does make me a little bit nervous to go through this nether portal. 
I'm assuming it's okay. Was that yellow carpet always there? I'm not sure about any of this. Honestly, Demise has made me terrified of the entire server, I have to say. But anyway, the reason I've come over here is because I wanted to check out the NFD building. I wanted to see the Nuggets for Diamonds area because a couple of months ago, we hid a bunch of golden nuggets throughout the server, myself and Iskal. We were bored one day and we just thought it would be interesting to see. I can't even remember what the diamonds were for. Like, I think we got them somehow. Either way, <laughs> either way, we just hid a bunch of golden nuggets and I haven't seen a golden nugget in ages. And I haven't really seen people looking for them for a little while. So I'm just wondering if if they've actually almost all been found and if our diamond stores have actually been used up. Yes, <laughs> it looks like they have. So we, we have used up, I think there was something like 17 diamond blocks in there and a bunch of diamonds as well. And all of them are gone. So that means that, yeah, the treasure hunt is kind of complete. I think I think all of the nuggets must be pretty much gone. As I say, I really haven't seen any in ages. So, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Oh my goodness, look, <laughs> I've located another sneaky trap. Look at this. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. What does that say? Your life was just saved by the ITSBS. Hmm. You know what I've just thought? Once Demise is finished and we're all rocking around in our best diamond gear and everything like that, uh, the server is still going to be covered in lethal traps. <laughs> like people are going to be falling in, losing all their best stuff and everything like that. I've just travelled over to my industrial district to check out my AFK bunker and I've broken the com- I went in- I tried to go inside there and I broke the combination lock again. Which I think only calls for one thing. I mean... I means I have to rebuild it again, maybe work on the redstone because clearly I built it incorrectly. This is brilliant. Might just be one of the favourite things that I've built this season of Hermitcraft. <laughs> that seems like it's the issue. My... What? What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what, has, what has happened here? Uh, there's furnaces. I guess I might have placed the movable objects in afterwards. I don't know what I've done. Just to clear up any confusion from the viewers end, that was me trying to work out how I fixed it the last time. I think I genuinely did something as lazy as just placing a movable objects in and hoping for the best. Uh, that is, yeah, that's not really a good way to troubleshoot problems in a redstone contraption. Right, I think I fixed everything and I'll be honest with you, okay? Having just said that in the previous clip, one of the main ways that I fixed it is by placing immovable objects all throughout it so that if it does break, it doesn't break itself. Like, there's nowhere for the blocks to go. <laughs> so, I know I literally just blasted myself. I, I think that's the only way that I can do it. The, the redstone itself is pretty flawless. That, for some reason, sounded really big-headed. All I mean by that is that the redstone should all be working. So, let's see. Push, 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 push. Yeah, there is... I can't see... How this could possibly not work. That was a bit weird. Push. Push. That was weird. So if I push it twice... It doesn't fire twice. I can't seem to find a way to break it yet though, and I think that is actually due to that immovable object up at the top there. I think that has actually fixed the problem that I ran into when I was doing the testing, because I was pressing all of the buttons and then I managed to hit it at a perfect time that caused that piston to fire in the middle of the sequence and caused everything to break. I think I think we could be safe now. And if it breaks again, then I am just gonna set it all on fire and I'll die in demise so I don't need this bunker anymore. Cool, my code has been inputted. I'm not going to show you what my code is. But now I need to spam all the buttons to shuffle said code. I really, you know what, I haven't actually tested any of this. I'm such a moron. I am, like, I'm just clicking the buttons now and I'm hoping that it all works. Which, it does 
seem to have done. Nothing broke. Fantastic. However, what I think might be arguably more hilarious is the fact that I'm not actually AFKing in my AFK bunker. Uh, today, I am AFKing up at the top of the witch farm because we need more redstone. I am totally out of this stuff, so we need to gather that up. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Wow, that is far too close. Now, to wrap things up today, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who popped through to the store and checked out the Bumbo Sahara t-shirt and everything like that. That was a short limited run and and they are all now sold out but you can still grab Sahara merchandise there'll be links down in the description if you do want to check it out um it's pretty cool I'm really really happy with the designs I like them